A year ago, my friend producer Roberto Bessi called me from Rome and asked if I would meet with some members of the Ananda community with the idea of trying to make a, a documentary or a docudrama about the Ananda communities. I was in Roma, a friend of mine called me because it was a big yoga convention in Roma at the 12th June of 2010 and he asked me if I can go with him to attend to this convention and uh, he introduced me Nandini. She asked me if I was interested to read the script that uh, Swami Gyananda wrote. Then uh, she organized a meeting with the Swami at Panfili, Villa Panfili Hotel in Roma. And then I went to speak with the Swami to meet him. It was like uh, a reunion of old friends. The same day I read the script of Swami. The next day I met again and I told I want really to help you to make a, a project that can appeal to a wide audience that can be interested in someone like me that I'm interested in spirituality but not too much involved. So the idea was to try to make a film that would convey the messages and the teachings of Yogananda and Swami Kriyananda and also somehow appeal to a broader audience of non-spiritual people who are curious about spiritual things. I spent the last year meeting uh, weekly with Swami Kriyananda, with Jyotish and Devi from the Ananda village in Northern California, with Shivani, with many, many members of the community of Ananda to learn and absorb as much as I could of their teachings, of their lifestyle, of just their way of being. And in the process, I came to feel very close with uh, people that I was working with. I spent uh, a few weeks in Northern California filming uh, just documentary daily life at uh, Ananda Village. And then this past summer, we spent a week in Ananda Assisi doing the same thing, shooting interviews and uh, daily life. And in the process, I think we've gathered an enormous archive of stories and uh, the basic history of both Swami Kriyananda and the Ananda communities. Now we're in the process of taking all of that material, turning it into a screenplay that would not only uh, convey truthfully the ideas of Ananda, but also appeal to a broader audience and be a very entertaining experience. I came here as a magical thinking skeptic. I felt immediately comfortable with the people in the communities of Ananda in Northern California and in Assisi and felt a kinship with them that I hope we'll be able to translate into a very powerful movie.